My name's Kay, I am a care coordinator. My name's Nabil al and I'm a GP in Doncaster. Hi, I'm Amanda, I'm a healthcare assistant for a GP surgery in Doncaster. So it's been difficult, um, is the first thing. I've been a GP for seven years, um, and uh, these have definitely been the hardest two years. Um, I know from speaking to GPs, you know, people who've been GPs for sort of 20 plus years, um, they feel the same. With the pandemic, there's been a huge impact, both for the staff in the practice and for the patients. Quite a few times over the last couple of years we've had um, the guidance has changed of, of how we should manage um, our appointments and how we deal with patients. Early on there was a, a message that was sort of about try and do everything over the phone, try not to bring people to the surgery unless it was critical to, to care and we moved sort of quickly to that sort of telephone first. The disruption to care for sort of 18-20 months even when we haven't had lots of COVID cases locally, we're still dealing with sort of demand that we haven't seen before. And that's because things have sort of been stored up, unfortunately, from those um, uh, disruptions that people have had for the last couple of years. Sometimes find the conversations with you really difficult. We do our best to be as professional as we can. One of the things we found, and it's become more of a problem in recent months, is the abuse that some of our staff are, are getting. I always have to say it's a minority of people, so I think the public have been fantastic, both nationally and in Doncaster, dealing with the challenges that we, we've had, we've all had to go through, and the impacts that's had on the service we can um, provide. But that minority has a really big impact on, on people if they are abusive. Quite a few of the calls that we take, and quite a few of the people we see, are really frustrated and they can be really angry and aggressive. Really difficult to um, work in this environment at the moment, even at the best of times, and just something like one person being abusive um, unfairly to someone can be the difference between them sort of feeling like they've got through that day okay and, and not having got through that day okay. What I find really upsetting is that sometimes we get our patients who have sort of been really difficult with our reception staff who've got an incredibly difficult job and then when they get through to speak to us they're really really pleasant and I find that really um, really unfair. We are people at the end of the day doing us job and we're all working as hard as we can. A lot of us are doing extra hours, um, we're doing his day job, we're doing the Covid vaccination hubs. Everybody's had a difficult time over the last two years. We are all human, so if you've had a difficult time, like the person you're speaking to on the other end of the phone or seeing on the other end in the surgery or, or on, 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 the, on um, the reception desk has also had a really difficult time over the last couple of years. You know, all of us have had, you know, deal with restrictions, with, you know, um, changes to how our lives work. We've all, you know, lots of us have lost family members and been affected by the same things that have affected you. So it's just, we understand why you're upset and, and we probably feel upset in the same position as you. It's a really hard job at the best of times, but I still love the actual job. The main issue with it is, is the time and the, sort of the difficulties that are going on around you. But I think patients are really grateful um, for what we can help them with. To be able to help the clinicians to do the best for the patients, that's why I'm doing the job that I do and I'm really proud to do it. There's a lot of people who are really struggling as, as GPs, nurses, reception staff and, and are part of our team and there isn't, it wouldn't take much for them to decide actually it's the right time to, to, to leave and look for something new because of how difficult um, these last two years are. Just be kind, it's nothing personal, We're, you know, we are doing as much as we can.